What's up out there? P-Double coming at you live and direct for LA Lights Concert. And as promised, bringing you an exclusive interview with the Black Eyed Peas. I'm sitting here with Will. How will I am? I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. I'm sitting here with Apple D app and Taboo. How you guys doing? What's up, man? What's up, Jakarta? How's everybody doing out there? What up, y'all? Apple D app. <laughs> so far, this is there's a 13 country tour. Uh, this is the beginning or the end, somewhere in the middle. Where are we at? Um, well, Luckily, Asia, we said save the best for last, um, is the last part of, of our tour. We've been to places like Kazakhstan, Russia, to um, to Mexico, to South America, and now we're here in Asia. And we're just excited because Asia is one of our favorite places from, uh, you know, from previous tours. And we got like a week and a half before we go home, so. Let me take you back to Los Angeles then, but back to 88. Maybe I can talk to Apple about this. Uh, Back to 88, it was uh, the At Van Clan. Um, you started in 88, um, sometime in 95, it became the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Um, then you took on a couple new members, uh, Dante and Kim Hill was your vocalist at the time. Um, but you were still performing live. Were you, you were using a live band at that time? Uh, not in the At Van Clan. Um, we recorded with live instruments. We were signed to Easy e which is uh, Roofless Records, and uh, as, as we all know, Easy e passed away back in '95. And uh, we have a family uh, group called Grassroots, which is a bunch of uh, MCs, dancers, poets, musicians. And uh, Taboo was in that was in that crew. Oh, that's how it came about. Yeah, and then uh, it was just, first it was just me and Will, and then we had we had a family crew called Grassroots, and Taboo was in one of the dance group. And then when we started Black Eyed Peas, we, we brought Taboo in. And, it was, and did you perform with the live band or did you use a DJ at that time? Because uh, this is like West, West Coast at that time, gangster rap was huge. I mean, how did you guys, how did you guys manage to, to survive? And, and uh, we, we didn't, we didn't uh, start playing with the live band until we started Black Eyed Peas. Because we've always recorded with live instruments. So when we were like, oh, when we start Black Eyed Peas, we should, we should like have these live instruments up on stage. And that's, that's how that came about. So um, let's fast forward a little bit to 98. So it took you 10 years. You put out an album as Black Eyed Peas. Um, you have Taboo and Fergie now. Um, then you came out with, with these, these hits. Tell me about the transition um, from the time. I mean, obviously, when you started in 88, this wasn't you know, what, what you had in mind. But eventually, it went that way, and you made this huge transition. And, uh, and you guys became you know, international superstars. Tell me a little bit about the transition for you, and maybe for Taboo as well, who was I, I in think Bastard. for me, uh, being part of uh, such a strong foundation of friends, to be able to travel the world and to be embraced by different cultures, and actually have a positive message because at the time that that at Band Clan was happening, there was people like Diggable Planets and Tribe Called Quest and De La Soul. So Easy E's vision was, yo, I'm gonna take at Band Clan and be like the West Coast version of the Diggable Planets and Tribe Called Quest and the De La's because that's the vibe that we were on, or you know, being part of the crew, grassroots. Um, through Evolution '95 comes around, we started Black Eyed Peas. You know, our first show was at a gangster show. It was nothing but gangsters in the audience, and we're over here with cut off suit coats and like busting with dreadlocks. And you know, it was just like they're looking at us like, who are these weird niggas? You know, but at the end of the day, they liked our, our b boying skills, they liked the fact that we could freestyle, and they're like, yo, all these niggas got some heats. You know, there it was. It was a respect level, and, and we managed to just overcome uh, any type of obstacles. Uh, fast forward to 98, we came out with, with Behind the Front, and that was just our, our struggles from the time we started Black Eyed Peas in 95 up until 98. And uh, that it was a critically acclaimed record. Um, yo, it, we had hits like Que Dices, we had Fallen Up, and it put a stamp on what West Coast hip hop at that point, um, like, we, dim we were different from what people thought. People thought we were from London, people thought we were from the East Coast. Um, and it was just, it was good to be able to, to express ourselves in a positive way. Forward to 2000, uh, we came out with a record called Bridging the Gap. We had a song called Request Line, Weekends, Macy Gray. Didn't do that, mu that well because there was like this, this whole merger with Seagrams and, and Polygram Polydor and, and then the internet started kicking in. Napster was strong at that point so there was people downloading so record sales kind of dropped. Fast forward to 2001, we started working on Elephant. Uh, we were all going through trials and tribulations, being, you know, the people that we were. We got together as friends and we said, yo, this could possibly be our last record. We got to make sure that this third record, Elephant, does... 
but we didn't know what was going to happen. You know, just speaking hypothetically, you know, just to each other because we were messing up so yeah, bad. Yeah, we were all going through our personal vendettas and stuff. And then uh, one day we just sat around in the studio and and that's how we came up with Where's the Love? And and also, uh, you know, the 9-11 prompt, that, that whole change also. Yeah, and then um, we did Where's the Love, we did um, Let's Get Retarded. And then um, we had a song called Shut Up. We needed a female singer. And our homegirl, Stacy, which is Fergie, she was like a homie that we used to go to clubs with, and she was part of Wild Orchid. So we, we were just friends. And our boy, Dante Santiago, was like, yo, you guys should, should add Stacy on this song. We're like, Stacy, can she sing? Yeah, yeah so you should try her out. So she came in, and she, she rocked it. And then slowly but surely, she started coming, becoming more part of the crew. And then now she's free. Dan masih ekspektasi gue sih mudah-mudahan di konser ini dia habis-habisan nyanyiin semua lagunya terus keluar dengan gaya yang edan-edanan lah yang seperti yeah. kita biasa lihat di klip. That's why kita ingin menonton di samping emang lagu-lagunya Black Eyed Peas tuh ingin buat kita bergoyang udah lama nih enggak olahraga. Mm. Nah.
Let's Get Retarded. You guys change it to Let's Get It Started. Uh, it happened again on the next album with um, <laughs> Don't Mess With My Heart. Um, how have you guys managed to come, come through these kind of controversial or semi-controversial issues, but yet come out with still this, this really clean image? How, how does that happen? I mean, you guys, it was a problem with airplay, right? With Don't Funk With My Heart. Some people thought it may have been profanity, even though it wasn't. So how, how, did you guys, how do you guys maintain your, your, your image? Well, um, you know, when we wrote, you know, when we wrote Red, let's get, it let's get retarded, it wasn't intended. It's, it's more like a slang. It's like a, a New York slang. Yo, that's, that song is retarded, son, you know? In a positive way. Yeah. And then, um, you know, NBA wanted to use it to start up the game. So it's like a wordplay, you know, let's get it started, let's get it started. So that's how that song came about. I think Don't Funk and Don't Mess With My Heart was just, it was more like the CC, which is the FCC, the, uh, you know, the, the censorship. Uh, we overcame that by people, some people played it, some people didn't, but at the end of the day, Don't Funk With My Heart was a big, big hit for us on, on, uh, on uh, all around the board. So it really didn't hurt us, it just, it put, like, it put us in that world of like, oh, did you know Black Eyed Peas got censored, you know? So it was kind of, it was kind of a cool thing. Um, and as far as our image, we're just us, man. We don't, we don't try to be something that we're not, you know, we're not, we come from Los Angeles. Uh, Will grew up in, 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 uh, in the ghetto, he grew up in the projects. Apple comes from third world country, which is more, more ghetto than anything, you know, and, and at the end of the day, we have love for each other as friends and we just chose to do something positive. We come from a b-boy background. Can't be shooting people and talking about, yo, I'm gonna do some windmills right now, but first I'm gonna shoot these kids right in the face. You know, so the thing about it is that we have uh, a strong foundation and that's what, what sets Black Eyed Peas apart from everything. Uh, let me ask you a little bit about uh, production. I mean, you guys have worked with tons of artists from uh, well-known names, um, John Legend, Justin, Nelly, um, but you've also worked with people like Nas and um, I guess there's even guitar breaks from Jack Johnson. H how do you guys choose who you want to work with and uh, is there anybody you'd like to work with that you haven't so far? Well, um, you know, the people that we work with, uh, at one time we were a fan of theirs. Yeah, so it's, you know, it feels great to uh, to actually work for them and and uh, do production for these people, you know, because at one time we were fans. And also we, we build fan, um, friendships with them. Like, for example, we worked with Sting. He actually invited us to sleep over at his house, his castle, in, in, uh, in London. In London. Um, James Brown, James we built Brown. a relationship with him before he passed away, rest in peace. Uh, just We just build friendships with these people before we go into the studio. Yeah, we used to, we used to just bust at a club with Justin yeah. and that's how, that's how we met him. Mm -hmm. yeah.
them, I like them, I like the music. Uh, bisa bikin gue bergoyang sih. <laughs> Fergie. Pasti ya, yeah, the girl ya. Yeah. Yeah. Kalau nggak ada dia, Black Eyed Peas agak sedikit kurang gitu, karena she has a good voice gitu dan uh, dan gerakannya dan bodynya juga keren Kayak banget. Juga keren. Mm -hmm. uh, mereka suka kalau perform uh, oke okay, ya maksudnya. Uh, Interes sama penonton juga, hmm. terus juga interaktif juga, terus juga nggak uh, cuma nyanyi doang gitu, hmm. ada dancernya jangan, jadinya gue pengen lihat semuanya lah. Si Fergie-nya oke okay banget, uh, lagu-lagunya juga bagus, Will I Am-nya juga oke, okay. uh, kemudian musik mereka adalah musik hip-hop, uh, sehingga membuat kita bergembira ya. Yeay, seru-seru, seru. seru, seru. <laughs> Kemeringet ya kalau orang Jawa bilang ya. Karena seru aja, kalau aku sih uh, prefer suka Fergie-nya, gayanya seru banget, terus lagunya juga enak. Pokoknya kalau personelnya yang gue suka, Will I Am, kemudian dia genius ya dia. Will I Am. Dia produser juga. Uh -huh. Kemudian dia genius gitu, dia juga produser Fergie juga kan, jadi ya keren lah pasti gitu. Jadi dia keren, benar-benar dia. Kamu solo juga, Om? Iya, benar-benar bagus lah ya. Nah, yeah, we hope tonight's good. Um, a lot of people want to know about your your fashion sense. You guys are very unique in the way you dress. Um, your fashion style. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration and um, and what it, what it represents. But for me right now, I'm more. You guys uh, are fly even for the interview. Uh, I'm more. Uh, it's called Baron. It's the. Uh, It's like a traditional Filipino yeah. uh, clothing. It's very I similar to what we have in Indonesia yeah. as well, yeah. So I kind of just flipped it up, you know, <laughs> some in there and stuff. So you've got that Asian influence in the way you dress? Yeah. Definitely. And I you've got, got that stats. South American <laughs> Latin influence? Uh, my thing is uh, for, for my project and just recently mm -hmm. I've been staying away from the long haired guy, the scary looking guy. <laughs> um, because that's what people had a stigma on uh, monkey business and elephant. So now it's like I'm trying to show my face more. There you go. <laughs> I'm trying to show, you, show my face more, and, and my style comes from my shoes. Whatever the shoe color is, is what my tie represents. Or, you know, I like to, to rock suits, and I like just I like to look uh, suave. That's my thing, suavemente. <laughs> what does that mean in uh, English for those that don't understand? Suavemente means cool, slick, slick. Okay, a couple quick uh, questions before we wrap up. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Fergie. Um, for the VMA shit she just got recently. Um, also, congratulations to Will for the uh, album uh, Songs About Girls. But now I've got to ask you guys, there's solo projects in the works. So, I'll start with you, Taboo. Uh, my solo project, once again, is directed towards the Latin community. Um, I've, I'm able to, to give back to, to the Latin people because with Black Eyed Peas, we had a mission, and the mission was the world. Now I'm, we got a uh, lane. He's got the Filipino market. I got the Latin market, and my album is going to be based around that. I'm doing songs in Spanish. Um, my first single, Rodeo, is produced by Will I Am. I got a couple features: Frankie J to E40 to um, to Chingo Bling. So look out for that. All right, and and this is um, both your albums are going to have um, your uh, your own influences from your home country, right? Uh, and you already had a couple songs. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, you know, I try to incorporate some of the. Uh, The, uh, the the Filipino instruments from Tinik Lang. Uh, try to put that in the hip hop, uh, uh, singing in Tagalog, and uh, it's just an expansion. You know, we uh, is your Tagalog that. still very fluent? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I got you know collaborated with Tab, and and we still support each other even though we have our own individual projects. And it doesn't hinder any of your, um, I mean, together as the Black Eyed Peas, that doesn't hinder your work together at all? No, not at all, because, okay. uh, you know, we still travel and tour together, mm -hmm. and then we get to perform our own songs. And, uh, when can we expect, uh, is this going to come out? Because you have another album as a Black Eyed Peas next November coming out, is that right? Uh, E&D, is, is that coming out next year? Yeah, that's the tentative, uh, tentative uh, uh, album title, but, um, We, well, we're still trying to finish when we get home in November. We're gonna, that's the last, yeah, a lot of work to do. And, uh, yep, yeah, and, you know, possibly January and February. What, what can we expect for tonight's show? I mean, this is the first time for you guys here in Indo, and uh, a lot of people are waiting to see your show. Well, definitely a lot of, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. Um, you know, we can't wait to, to be in front of the crowd tonight. Black IP fans, we're gonna be doing Fallin' Up and Gettys's for the true 98 fan. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Alright, um, thanks for everything. It was really nice chatting with you guys. Good luck with the show tonight. And, uh, this is P-Double for LA Lights Concert. We'll see you at the Black Eyed Peas. Check them out right now. Here they are.
here, P-Double still reporting live from Istora Senayan, the LA Lights concert, Black Eyed Peas. Nah, gue udah nemu teman-teman ini. Sebenarnya, sebenarnya mereka mereka bukan janjian pakai kaos yang sama semua nih ya. Ini semua adalah orang-orang yang paling beruntung di sini gara-gara mereka adalah pemenang tiket free to watch the Black Eyed Peas concert. Oke, gimana nih perjalanannya uh, yang misalnya dari Pontianak yang mungkin agak jauh banget ya datang ke sini. Gimana tuh perjuangan lo untuk nonton Black Eyed Peas malam ini? Cukup berat mas, masalahnya hampir ketinggalan pesawat. Lagu yang paling lo hafal apa coba? Oh, gua tahu. Apa apa coba? Pemimpinnya. Terus ya ya satu dua tiga. My ha 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 my ha. Ya ina ina. Sekali lagi selamat untuk kalian semua udah datang. An LA Lights concert featuring the Black Eyed Peas. Thank you juga buat LA dong. All right, my name is Pete Double, and I'll see you next time on LA Lights Concert.